protect. Wave 3 News reporter Cedric Mayfield has been following this story tonight. She joins us now live from the KSP Post in Elizabethtown. And Cedric, I know you spoke to a number of people in Glendale tonight. This must be so hard for that close-knit community. It is the community that they've called home tonight, banding together in prayer and support to bring this firehouse family through this very tough time. In a town with just one train signal, quaint and close-knit are two words often used to describe Glendale. People, it is a small town, so everybody kind of knows everyone. So when a fire run turned tragedy early Wednesday morning, Whistle Stop employee Lacey Perez said word spread fast. Today the talk of the town has been um, coming together and rallying around the family um, at the fire department that was, you know, that suffered from this tragedy. 25-year-old Jonathan French, a volunteer firefighter alongside his mother Lisa, struck along with their fire truck by a semi on I-65 near mile marker 87. Jonathan's firefighting career forever ended at the scene. His mother Lisa flown to University Hospital with serious injuries. Whenever there's adversity or any type of tragedy, people all pull together. Sherry Creek owns the Mercantile and says she immediately called on her fellow business owners to help out. We all pulled together, took food over, and then we asked the chaplains and the immediate care crisis providers if there was anything else we could do, which we did on a monetary basis as a group. Area fire departments are also chiming uh, in. And the neighboring community fire departments have, uh, are taking over their responsibilities right now to let them grieve and let them take care of uh, the personal businesses that they're dealing with. It support members of this community say they'll offer for as long as needed. Because the immediate crisis, it doesn't go away. Giving back to a firehouse family that's given the ultimate sacrifice. We're all very sorry for the tragedy and loss and we'll do whatever we can to help the family. Merchants I spoke with say they plan to host a benefit in honor of the French family in coming weeks to thank them for their bravery and their volunteer service. Live in Elizabethtown tonight, Cedra Mayfield, Wave 3 News. Thank you.